Daredevil is one of the best shows I've ever seen, especially season three. Like, just wow, that was an amazing season. And of course, I, among basically every other fan, were really disappointed when the show was canceled. And anyway, the the basically the two best parts of this show were Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio as obviously Daredevil and Kingpin. So these are the two actors that out of all the Netflix characters and actors people want to see come into the MCU the most. And I completely agree. I want to see both of them come into the MCU. I want to see them continue as these characters. And I, I, I don't know how it will happen. I don't know if there will be like a Daredevil movie or a Daredevil series or something. Uh, but we definitely know that it's going to be different. And speaking of different, we have Joaquin Phoenix's Joker movie, which came out last year. And it was a hit. Um, it was a very good movie. Definitely not something you want to watch to, you know, bring yourself joy. But it, it's a very well-made movie, and I really enjoyed it, but didn't enjoy it. Uh, I, I, it was good. Uh, but anyway, since this movie came out, there have been a lot of people out there saying, like, well, if we had a Joker solo standalone movie, why not have a film like this for other villains in DC or Marvel and that is why in a recent interview with comicbook.com, the link to the article is down in the description below, as always. And Vincent D'Onofrio, who played Kingpin, of course, actually said that he would love to do a Joker-style Kingpin movie, which I think is just a great idea um, to just explore his past and his story, especially if they want to like reboot the characters for the MCU because I'm thinking that's how they'll probably do it. That's definitely a different way of doing it because I I think they also kind of have to reboot the characters because there's just so much baggage and they have so much history in the Netflix shows. So if they reboot it and just like get the same actors but just forget everything that happened on the Netflix show, then they could give us this movie that shows Kingpin's story and basically shows us everything that we saw in the Netflix story. Uh, but with differences because it would be a different character technically. Um, but yeah, this would be good. Um, especially, I, I don't think it would happen because, I mean, if it was rated R, Disney's not making a rated R movie. But maybe we could get like a PG-13 Kingpin movie or maybe even a series. That would definitely be interesting. And Vincent D'Onofrio is up for it, so... I'm up for it too. I, I'd love to see this. I, I love this character. And I'd love to see more of a deep dive on this character. More than we actually sh saw on the show. Which was already a lot there. But just think of how much potential there is. In a Kingpin solo movie. Um, So that would be really interesting. Especially seeing what his life is like. Separate from uh, Daredevil. Because that was one of the biggest questions. Going into Joker. Like how are they going to tell this story. About Arthur Fleck and the Joker without having Batman in it and everything. And I'd love to see that kind of thing done here with Kingpin and tell his story without Daredevil being involved. And I'm not necessarily sure how it would work, but I'm definitely interested to see how it would go. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's an interesting idea. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd definitely love to see it. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think about this? Would you like to see a Joker-style Kingpin movie starring Vincent D'Onofrio? Or what other Marvel characters or even DC characters would you like to see get a Joker-style standalone movie? So let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And hit that subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life.